Hey teachers, so this is quizzes. Um, it's great for formative assessment and maybe even summative assessment. Uh, just Google in quizzes, Q-U-I-Z-I-Z-Z, -Z. make an account and you can um, align it with Google. So you can just uh, log in using Google uh, in the future. Um, when, you, when you want a quiz, you can either find a quiz, so you can search anything into the, into the topic here. So if I was looking for stoichiometry and I want something formative, I could uh, look at stoichiometry. And these are a whole bunch of games that have been made around stoichiometry. And if I click on one, um, it'll show me its particular questions and I can show answers and go through them, see if I like it. Um, I could go back and just glance at some of the quizzes. If I put the hand over it, it shows me the questions to the right. So I could just sort of scan through a couple of them and see if I like one. So let's pretend I like this one, um, but I didn't like everything about it. What I can do is I can edit it. If I click edit it, it's going to give me a duplicate. And then I'm going to go over to the right here where the little green crayon is. And I'm going to change this and call this stoichiometry beaner, let's say. Okay, and I'm going to choose a relevant subject, chemistry, and then click save. Then I'm going to go through them, and I want to uh, check them out, see if I like them. Uh, if I don't like them, I could just delete it, so you delete the particular question, and I can keep going through to see if I like it. I can change my time. 15 minutes here is a bit high. Let's say I wanted them to take three minutes a question. I can change that. Then it'll ask me if it would like to change for all questions, so I can change all of them to three minutes. And then let's say I didn't like all of the questions, I wanted some other questions. I could either create a new question and it'll give me the template um, or I can teleport questions from other ones. So if I click teleport, um, I can go and find other ones. So let's say I like this particular quiz and this particular question. I go to the right here and I click add and it adds it in. So when I'm finished, I can go and click finish quiz. Then I can uh, share it with people. I've shared with uh, Paul and Aura before, so I could share with them, um, and they would have that quiz in there um, for a possibility as well. So once you've created your quizzes, you want to keep them available. Um, and if you see on the left here, it says collections. Um, you can create your own collections. I have collections for every course I teach. So if I go to Chemistry 20, um, these are all the ones I've created in the past. Um, if I go to my quizzes, the one I just made here, stoichiometry, um, I could um, save it on the right here, and I'm going to save that in my Chemistry 20 collection, and click Done. So let's say I wanted to assign this one this week. Click on stoichiometry. I can play live, which obviously we're not going to do that now, but you can assign it as homework. Um, so if I click Assign as Homework, uh, it says learners should complete the quiz by, and you can pick your date and your time, and then you'll uh, host the game. You can assign it to a class right through Google Classroom. So where it says not assigned to any classes, I go to select, and I'll pick, let's say, my Chemistry 20 class, click Next, and then it tells you, no, don't forget to click the Assign Game button at the top. So as soon as I click Assign Game, those 13 questions have to be done by whatever time I've selected. Um, underneath at the bottom, there's advanced settings here. How many attempts students can have uh, if they get the answers in the game, if they can see the answers after the game. Um, Power-ups are fun, kids like that. Uh, you can put a timer so the kids can have the countdown. You can shuffle the questions or not, likewise for the answers. Um, play music and memes. Memes are fun for kids. So uh, there you go. That's a quick tutorial on quizzes. I highly recommend it for formative. You can do this all the time. All right, hope that was useful.